Hello guys and gals and welcome to Farm Simulator 19 tutorial on Auto Drive. I'm Buddy 1927. This is part two of our Auto Drive series where we are going to be setting up network on the map. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now the first thing I want to point out is you want to make sure you have a vehicle. You need a vehicle to actually do it. Now you can see I'm using a pickup truck with a trailer. The reason behind that is you're going to have tractors that will have trailers or implements. You're going to have trucks with trailers or vehicle, other vehicles with trailers. And you want to use the trailer so when you're setting up the course, the trailer is not hitting anything. And when you make your turns, you, the trailer stays inside the turn. I used this pickup truck. It's about the same same length of the of a tractor, so it's basically like a tractor with a trailer. And I like using a pickup truck because I can see red line marking where I'm at and all that. Another thing that I use, you can see that I have two pickup trucks. I'm using my Nissan pickup truck right now, and I'm standing in the center. You can see the top of my head on the floodlights down below, or it's right on the center. And when I look up, you'll see the light bar on top of the roof. It has six lights. So between the two middle lights, I know my line needs to be right between those two middle middle lights. You can see how the line lines up. So let's go ahead and hop into the vehicle. Okay guys, once you're inside the truck, sometimes auto drive menu doesn't show up. What you want to do is press left alt button and then press the zero key on your number pad on your keypad. Not the zero key on the keypad and that will bring up the menu. Okay, and you can see I can freely move the camera around. So let me just get the camera set up to where I, we need to be. You can see I'm about the center of the lane that we are going to use. And when you start, you want to make sure that your vehicle in the center of the road or lane. Bring up the mouse button. Just press the middle wheel on your mouse, and that brings up the mouse button. Once that's up, once the cursor is up, you can't you can move the cursor anywhere you want, but you can't move the camera. We brought up the menu. So what we want to do is press the setting key, which is this. I call it a cog. That brings up your setting menus. I went over this in the first episode. Today we want to make sure our settings are as follows. Our auto connect dark. This one right here. It must say no. The auto connect end must say no and then you hit apply now you can click on apply but sometimes i found if you click on it it doesn't save your settings so i always hit the enter key on my keypad and that will automatically apply i never had an issue when i hit the enter key i've always had issues from time to time when i click on apply so that's just a little bug so make sure you use the enter key on your keypad to set apply Next thing we want to do is hit this little triangle right here. The triangle with the exclamation point. And that turns on the menu up top here. And what this does allows you to record, save, set waypoints, delete, change waypoints, set the speed, and all that. Right now, we're not going to worry about this. You can see I already have a line drawn on this road. And it ends right here. It doesn't continue on to this road. And this is a T intersection. But it ends right here. So it doesn't curve here it doesn't curve onto this road we want to end our network for this before the intersection on a t intersection now on a four way you want to drive straight through so what we are going to do next is actually pull our vehicle up and let's get rid of this cursor and what i want to do you see you see this line right here between the two doors I want to try to line up, make sure you're kind of square, line up this point with the center of that. So when we start recording, this line will be first point that we put down on our network going this way will be in line, about in line. You don't have to perfectly in line, but I try to be as close as possible between these two. Now this, net, this network line is going this way, and we're going to be setting up. A line going that way so I'll make sure my line is set up and we'll go ahead you want to make sure you're in the center of the lane and I'll go ahead and press record okay you can see now the red line is at an angle and it's pointing down and you can see it goes right through the vehicle 
and it ends there. That's where we are setting our first point on the network we're setting up right now. So we got that going down. Now let me explain what a network is. A network is like train track. Your vehicle brought will ride the rail. This line here is the rail that the vehicle is going to be on. It's going to be on the center of this line. So while you while it's in auto drive, it will drive down the center of this. Or if it's a train, it will be riding on the rail of the thing. So you, you're basically setting up a rail system on your map. So you, your vehicle can drive point, point A to point B. I hope that explains it. So let's go ahead and start driving. And as we are driving, We want to try to keep the vehicle as centered let's back this up so we in the center of the road. Now you can use different angles. And what I like to do, I like to try to keep it as center. As you can see, I'm in the center of this lane right here. I want to try to keep the vehicle away from the white line and as close to the in this point the yellow line the reason behind that is sometimes when you make turns or there might be signs on the road and your equipment might click the sign and knock down the sign or hit a telephone pole or a light pole that might be right off the map and you want to make sure that the equipment doesn't hit it so let's continue driving okay guys we are approaching a, a four-way intersection Okay, we're going this way. This line is going this way, and when we set the network on going this way or going that way, we want to continue going straight. We don't want to connect anything right now. So what we are going to do is just drive straight through the intersection and continue on. So I'll meet you at the end of this road. This is a pretty long road, so I'll meet you at the end, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're approaching the end of the road here. And because we're at the end of the road and the road doesn't continue anymore and it's actually a dead end, we want to go ahead and stop the recording. So we'll press record button again using the left mouse button, by the way. And you can see, oh, uh, you can't see, yeah, you can see that both of them end about the same. It really doesn't matter how close you are, both end about the same. And you can keep these two connections open unless you decide later on your field equipment here for that for that field. So we got two networks set up right now. You got one going this way and you got another one going this way. So let's bring up the map. Okay, this is the map of Wild West. We just did this long road right here. This one right here. We started down here and we ended the road right we ended right where the road ended right over here so we got this road set for the network what we want to do is set up other networks and the way I like setting up my network is this is the main road that goes from east to west so I'll take I'll go down here to this one and start going north and go north and south and let's do all that and then I'll connect the rest of these roads up let me get to the next point and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're in the northern section now. And I'll show you on the map where we're at. We're right here. And what we are going to do is bring this connection all the way down to here. Now, we got a unique situation here. We got a placeable area where we can place our factories and stuff like that. And there's no roads to actually set up right now. And you can set up the roads or your connections however you want. And this is where the vehicles on the placeable will come out this entrance right here when we set up this connection at the beginning we want to make sure we you can see how the road ends at the same place where the driveway is somewhat we want to place our vehicle center of our vehicle just off the road that way when we set up our connection we'll have a little wiggle room and we can set up our connection to the placeable area later on without any problem so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and click record you can see where where the first mark is it's actually off the road it really doesn't have to be on the road and again with same thing make sure we keep the same settings make sure both auto start and I mean auto connect start and auto connect and are no and then just start driving down the center of the road will be 
I'll be right back. Okay, guys. Next thing I'm going to show you how to do is set up a four-way intersection. So what we are going to do is connect our four rails. We got one rail going this way. We got one going this way. We got one going this way. We got one coming this way. And you got this little box in the area. And this is four-way intersection. What I like to do, and this is kind of hard to uh, this one's actually a difficult one. So you can see I'm I'm lined up in the center of the of the line or as close to the center of the line as possible. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up by do all the left hand turns first and the right hand turn second. So what we want to do is kind of move the vehicle off the center of the line. You can see where that red line is pointing again that's pointing to the closest waypoint and we want to set up our go to our setup menu and we want auto connect our saying yes and hit the and keeping the auto connect and saying no then we'll hit the enter key then what we'll do is use our left mouse button and click on record you can see the point has jumped off and it's now off this line and it's getting ready to do our turn so you want to, I do this slowly and we're going to kind of go over because this is a small intersection because we got a bridge here and what I do is I just do this okay now it's, and then I'll stop recording and I'll back up until I see the first Point underneath my truck that's where we ended the thing next we want to press our left control button and it brings up these red dots and we want to connect we want to click on this dot right here where we end when we end it now it turns green and we want the line to connect to this blue dot and we'll click on that and now the road is connected and you can see that we have connection so when we turn right that's the way the vehicle is going to turn right hit that point and then straighten out to the next point so next one we need to do we just need to turn the vehicle around try to get the center of the vehicle lined up with our with that green line Okay. Now you can see the, the points that we've laid. So we want to use this point because the next point is right here. So when we make the turn, we can't just turn right right here. So we want to kind of swing into the turn. So we'll set up. So now you can see the red line is on the that last point. And you can do it this way if you want. You can set it off to this side and kind of swing out and make your turn and you see why I'm using the trailer I'm making sure that that trailer does not hit okay and we'll stop the recording I'll stop the recording and this is why I'm bringing the trailer along Sometimes you have narrow road and you need to swing out and that trailer did not hit that pole. That's what we wanted. And again, press your left control button, bring up the red dots, click on this one, turns green. That turns, you hover over it, it turns blue, you connect that, and now the connection's made. So let me go ahead and make all the left-hand turns and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we made all, all our left-hand turns, as you can see. And we actually have two different types of road connection here we got this little apron that goes off so we made that connection just like this one here we started here and turned we didn't have to overlap or go over this line we just made a nice gentle turn where we have this apron right here here we don't have the apron so we had to swing out because it's narrower this road is narrower than this road here and you can see a lot more narrower so we have different types of connection we have a connection that starts turning here then swings out we have another one where we swing out and continue swinging out and then bring it back in so next what we want to do is make our right hand turn and I do mine I set mine up making sure that okay I'm well beyond that that waypoint 
and sometimes when you make turns another point here so you want to make sure you're on the right point you can see the point I'm using is going to be this point sometimes like I said when you make left hand turns or right hand turns sometimes it might be a point right here you want to make sure that you stay on that point so when we drive we don't want that red line to jump anywhere you want to keep an eye on that red line and then we'll go ahead and start now that auto connect start automatically connects draws a line from that that point to our first point there that's why we want that on and we'll go ahead and start making our right hand turn here and we'll go ahead and stop recording and we'll press our left control and go to there now one thing once the left controls here if you take your click on your right mouse button go hover over to where it turns blue you can see I kind of screwed this up so I take I click on my right mouse button and you can move this you can kind of straighten it up and there that kind of straightens it up a little bit and yeah so you can move those red points by clicking on your right mouse button and move the points to where you need it to be so let me go ahead and finish marking up my right hand turns and we'll be right back okay once you're done with the intersection double check and make sure you have all your left hand turns and your right hand turns because sometimes it gets confusing you can see I call this spaghetti you can see the spaghetti so you want to make sure all your connections are coming in this is my right hand turn this is my left hand turn you can tell by the way the arrow is pointing is which way the directions going so we got all our connections right here so we don't have to worry about anything right now so I'll show you how to set up a T intersection be right back okay guys and gals we're at our T intersection let me show you on the map where we're at okay we're right here and this is our I'm calling this Main Street the one that goes east to west and west to east and we're going to be connecting to this network here that goes from north to south and south and north we are on the Main Street right now and what we want to do is pull ahead slowly we want to first make sure we are auto connect art is saying yes and auto connect n is saying no and we hit enter we got that going again and we want to pull up to our point on the map and the first one thing that we're doing you can see we're on on the map and what we want to do is pull ahead a little bit to where this is the center of our truck where we are past the waypoint then what we want to do then is we're going to make a left hand turn so we're just going to turn the wheels slightly and then we'll go ahead and start recording and since we got this apron it's going to be a lot easier and we'll just go ahead and make our connections make our turn okay we'll stop right there we'll back up so we see our point and left click it's green now and then that turns blue so we right click uh, left click on that one and now we got our connect to make a left hand turn onto the road now what we want to do is actually turn around we want I, I like I find it easier to make all my left hand turns first and no I'm not left handed I'm right handed I just find it easy. You can do any which way you want. But I always do my left hand turns first because I find it it's a lot easier. Okay. Now here on the map we got our left hand turn. We're gonna be turning to this point. We got this point here and we got this point. Our next closest point is here. So we're making a turn, so we're turning like this. So we don't want to go to this point. We actually want to go to this point right here. So again we make sure our vehicle 
is past that point that we want to do, then start turning left. And kind of, I kind of just do this. And then in recording, go back. And we want to connect this point to this point. So that way, now we can go straight. So let's make our right hand turn. Let's keep going the right way. We'll turn our vehicle around here. And we want to make sure we're centered on that green line with our vehicle. And you can tell that we're, that's one of the reasons you can see the green line is right in the middle. And our red line lines up perfectly with the red line. Again, we're going to go to the same waypoint when we turn left. We're going to go to there. Make sure we'll pass it. We'll pass it. And we want to turn right. And we'll go ahead and start recording. Oops, I screwed up. And this gives me a good example how to undo your mistakes so you want to click on this this will undo the point that the marker is on one more point do okay there we go so we'll just turn the vehicle around now we're back where we started before we started recording uh, you've seen us clean up our mistake that we made there because the red line jumped because we had that one point that's close to where we are starting. So you want to make sure when you have a, a situation like that, and I'll show you once we get there what I'm talking about. Pull up here. Okay. You can see this is where we're starting, but we got another point that's close by. So when I pulled my vehicle up, it jumped to that point. So our recording was starting off of here, going this way, then going that way. So when you do this, you want to make sure that you, that red line doesn't jump. See how it jumped? You want to make sure it doesn't. So I just back up. Now we're on the point that we need to be at. And I can do this, just to double check, make sure, zoom in, and yes, you can see the red line is touching the point we're on. We're not on this point, we're on this point. So that's how you can make sure you're on the right point. And we'll make a right hand turn now. Stop recording, back up left control and we want to connect to that waypoint there and our last point that we need to make is we need to make a right hand turn from this rail okay so we now want to make our right hand turn from this road make sure you're on you're centered on on the road on the green air on the green waypoint there we go okay now we have this point here and we have this point here and another point there we want to pick this point right here and just want to pull ahead and start turning right and then we'll start our recording make our right hand turn i kind of just like this there we go and we'll stop our recording back up and we and we'll press left control make sure this is this turns blue now it's green and we want to go to this point make sure it turns blue and then click on it and we got our connection and this is the reason why we don't this go ahead and do this we got a nice clean intersection we're going right going right there we're going left we're going left this is nice and clean this is where we ended this point coming down here and then we made our left and right hand turn 
this is where we started and we made our right hand turn and our left hand turn so they all end up at that point and looks a lot neater now we have set up i showed you how to start and set up a network and how to connect each network to another network and the reason why i do my networks first it's a lot easier and i drop i do my networks first throughout the whole map then i will go ahead and come back and connect the network the reason behind this is different reasons now you can connect your network like when i had that four-way intersection i had the four-way intersection i can go ahead and do that and the t intersection you can go ahead and connect them as as you want i want to do all the road networks first so that way when i have i want to take a vehicle from the shop to my farm i don't want to draw a network just from the shop to the farm this way i can go from shop to the farm to a field or to a factory from the farm or from the shop or anywhere on this map so that's why i do the road network first is so that way i my vehicle can travel anywhere on the map where i have a waypoint one thing i did forget to show you all this button right here is your save button and brings up the save menu click on that delete what it said it said route one that's the default and we want to go wild west network and we'll hit save then we'll hit save again and it brings it down to this this is a saved network of what we've done so far and you want to save this and update this as you do continue your network you might not be able to do a map in a whole day if when you come back if it's not loaded it will automatically it, it will automatically load where you left off but sometimes it doesn't so this way you have it saved and you can come back and do it now if you screw up so you're doing a network and you like no i screwed everything up I don't, and you want to start over again now you have the save right here you want every time you're done setting up a network hit save since this is going to be my road network i'll go ahead and hit save and then continue adding, adding on what you couldn't do is set up another one this is your main one network and then you want to save again network two network three and so on so you got all your roads set up all your networks set up on your road then you save master network next time when you start setting your waypoints up you can go um, wild west network waypoint so you have saved your network you got a master of your network and then you can have them and then start saving your waypoint and when you're done doing all your waypoint you can save and make a master of that and that will be your master of that and the reason why you want to do this is sometimes and i've done this a few a few times i have mods that will corrupt my save game i don't have those mods no more with this because now we got this and we'll have the master network set up and you tied you want to change the way your farm layout is and you got had everything set up but your farm layout you have a copy of the master network so you don't have to redo all the roads or if you set everything exactly back up the waypoints exactly the way you want it like you can do all this the cell point and the shop point all your cell points and your shop um waypoint and just do a master of that which you can say wild west network waypoint then you can start saving your silos and stuff like that that you, you have set up that you place down on the map factories and stuff like that and then you can save like that when you put placeables down you're not going to place it exactly where you had it before if you start the map over again so that way you have your two references you have your road network you can go ahead and load or you can have your load network and waypoint that are on the map already and load that instead so that way it saves you in case you have to restart the map or if you decided you finished what you wanted to do and you went on another map and you decided hey i, I kind of like that map let me I want to do something a little different this time though on this map you can load that map back up start fresh and load the waypoint uh, load your network and auto drive is all set up in the next part part three i will show you how to set up waypoint like setting up a waypoint for the shop setting up a waypoint for your farm setting up a waypoint for a field that way your vehicle can go to those waypoints the road network will be done then we'll set the waypoint so i hope this video helped you if you have any questions leave them down below in the comments comment section again if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button and bell that way you know when the latest videos that i do come along and when i go live on youtube do me a favor hit that like button every like i get gets my videos seen a little bit more on youtube and helps grow my channel and as always have fun playing your games be safe out there in the world and i'll see you in the next video bye bye